Konnichiwa, this is Makoto from Makoto's World and welcome to my first album review. I say in my community tip I want to do more to support the music I love and enjoy besides my reactions. And I do album reviews today to this beautiful album from Love Bites uh, Awakening from Reviews. First of all, I'm not a professional musician or something, I'm a music lover and a uh, hobby or beginner musician. Uh, but I will not go to details, I will just talk about uh, stuff I can talk about the music itself, how I, what I like this, about the sound and stuff a little bit shortly so that you don't expect a uh, um, professional review I just, just do everything here for fun and entertaining something like that first of all for people who don't know Love Bites is an all-female metal band from Japan they are listed mostly as power metal but you find in their songs, different styles from heavy metal, hard rock to symphoni symphonic metal, and of course, trash metal. Um, so everything is there, and uh, the contrast between this beautiful gold and white and the heavy music is yeah why it works so much. All of these five ladies in this album, uh, um, Fenomen and the instruments, they're all uh, you can all hear everything. You can hear the bass, the drums the guitar work, the dual guitar work and the voice. It's very good produced, the quality is amazing. I've listened to this multiple times. And uh, yeah, we're starting with The Awakening, which is a beautiful intro uh, by composed by Miyako. In this album also she uh, is still separately listed because she was becoming a member, full member of this album. Uh, is with this album and uh, so yeah it's a good thing because Miyako brings a lot of this classical vibe because she's classical trained in piano um, and uh, yeah The Awakening has this almost movie score and then starting heavy so breaking in the heavy part to go to, to the hammer of wrath which is fast passing song and the first song we hear basically and showcase Asami's powerful vocals, but also the amazing music music ship. Um, it has this Arabia tone, melodies, and this trash metal song, very p fast pacing. And I'm writing a few things down down uh, for myself. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it has this old school vibe. All the songs have this old school, of course, uh, metal hard rock vibes, Iron Maiden, and so always. But they are their own. Uh, always because they combine everything. Uh, catchiness, straightforward is the song and has amazing solos. Also, what I love about this album, all members have written something or said something and uh, you get a few background information. This is great for Asami, for example, say that uh, Japan is a thick headed with topics uh, around the world. You know, it's well known that political stuff is not well common in Japanese music. But they are, uh, have done it in a way to say what's, what terrible stuff happened in the world. And you hear it in the song. But they do it phenomenal. With a poetic way. Also a secret member. Most people don't know Mao. Mao is a member. Uh, also a producer, I believe a musician. Who works a lot in studio. And does also produce a lot of the music. And helps, helps with writing. So Mao is definitely a secret member from Love Bites. So then we continue warning shot. Uh, for me, it's a hard rock song, really. A hard rock pacing, um, melodic, uh, amazing. So the drums is again heavy and has the powerful voice from the Sami, Sami what shines. And I will love it. Uh, all the songs are really catchy, the catchy tunes always. Um, we continue with the Shadow Maker, the, the song that most people drag into uh, Love Bites. This was the song on the channel. And Shadow Maker, a power metal piece with symphonic elements in it, and it is so good. Scream for me, the bass, you see what started the song, is again for me a hard rock song with, has, with heavy metal elements, um, a great solos. Liar, a different vibe, uh, starting slowly, almost like with a ballad, um, but then going again heavy. Uh, really like this song, also beautiful, uh, but mostly I can say it's more karma tone to it. Burden of Time again goes very old school from the sound wise here, this the guitar work, um, so really 
the old school heavy metal sound already you can say I say old school because I know I know this is an old school sound but I never have listened a lot to Iron Maiden Co because Love Bites is basically my my band my heavy metal band with the sound my first heavy metal band with the sound and Love Bites is the first metal band ever album form so the Apocalypse probably one of my favorite songs is this is so catchy and so heavy also this is really fast pacing uh, this is twilling sound is and the chorus is goes in this uh, again I don't want to say enemy style but in this um, it has this Japanese metal style this speed metal style almost you can say all this melodic melodic in a melodic way and uh, it's really so good and yeah what i love here is especially asami's vocals they're really good are really low and then there's a little break part for the solo where it goes slowly slows down and slows down a little bit and this is perfect really good song inspire is the perfect example of the contrast between uh, between a uh, soft and hard because this song really has the asami's beautiful voice and starting more like a ballad those then with the heavy drums and guitars goes heavy again and this really shows the contrast uh, everything in love is about contrast the, the outfits the, 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 the music the, between light and heavy between black and white you can say light and darkness this is what love Bites is for me they have the, this contrast which makes them so perfect for my taste and inspire is a beautiful song that showcases this don't bite the dust um yeah also so catchy tune we're really uh bobbing with your head um on place 10 uh, this is a power metal song uh, for me with classic elements especially the solos here again i'm pretty good the drums work the drum work and then old time favorite edge of the world this is the epos you can say on this album the symphonic epos almost uh, has multiple sections is uh, beautiful showcase for everything love by the does we have to start with just the piano and the sami um so from this you can say this is the more karma song from them uh, but then ch again then changing the vibe going in heavy tone for the solo so we can say this is the song with the most different sections it has so different sections and the sound um, the showcase the Miyako influences and also a little bit Asami's R&B influences from the vocals and Boefa for the last song a heavy 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 to end this album written by Haruna and the drums showcase it the drums are probably my favorite here it's so fast pacing it's so good the drum work on it and a perfect close up to this beautiful album so we have 12 songs on it and all are freaking amazing the bass the drums the guitar work the vocals are all songs are perfect and i find with such, such an album like that they really showcased what they can do and that this is not just a little band project they're really are serious they're walking and yeah especially with miyako's classical background bringing these vibes to it and the contrast between soft and hard and uh, Asami's vocals they are also have a classic song sound and can go uh, also very, very low but they are perfect for this kind of music for power metal and co as I said I love the artwork I love that we have information about members that they all say something about the process for me amazing first album especially because different styles they use there's not just only one style the power there are different styles and different techniques or song wise or sound wise they use and that makes it so perfect for me they have everything what i love about metal anyways that's for that i would like to do this uh, here and there not always of course not every week but maybe one in a month an album review here we are i wish you a great weekend and then we'll see us too new videos here on this channel. So bye bye.